Epstein list came out. And obviously, every League of Legends player was on it. But I need you guys to contain your shock when I tell you the names that are on this list. Are you guys ready? <clears throat> With over 3,000 flights to the island and 57,000 ELO gained combined, we have Riot Games founders Brandon Beck and Mark Merrill. Now calm down. Now calm down. I know it's shocking. Or is it? Let's take a deep dive, fellas. When I say the name League of Legends, besides the word grooming and manipulation, what do you guys think of? Good. It's evil. Evil how, you might ask? Well, League of Legends has over 2 trillion players, and reality only has 14 because half the fucking player base has 23 alt accounts for smurfing. Now, what is Riot Games doing with all these players? They don't need that many people playing League of Legends, so I have a game theory. That Riot Games is sacrificing some of these players. Sacrificing for what, you ask? And that'll be answered later, my boy. Don't you even worry. Now, with all these accusations, I've gotta have some sort of evidence, and I do. Put that shit on the Jumbotron. Wrong one. <laughs> Boom! Tibbers! And if you really analyze it, Tibbers is actually just a bear from hell. And who made those in hell? Diablo. League of Legends has a connection to Diablo. Now, if you played the game, which I don't because I'm no longer 3,000 pounds, there's a lot of evidence leading to this. You got Gwinsu's Rage Blade, which, or no, fucking Gwinsu's Rage Blade, which is just Kratos' Blade of Chaos. And what does Kratos do? He kills gods, and he also kills lots of monsters. But now, if you played the game, you know how he killed his family, too, which, in my opinion, is not really a cool thing to do. Now, make Kratos a gangbanger. Strange, right? Reminds you of... <gasps> Tupac! Tupac, a legendary, iconic black rapper, was assassinated by Duan K. F. D. Davis. Now, the reason this is important is because it all loops back to the beginning. Davis and Brandon actually were friends, with proof I'm showing here on screen. The deal that they were doing here is shrouded in mystery, but if you zoom in and enhance the image, you'll see something very, very, very disturbing. League of Legends gameplay that ends in a pentakill. Who's Pentakill gameplay night? Certainly it's not mine, because I'm not an evil person that was paid off by Face Punch Studios to talk about the scandal. In fact, the gameplay comes from a person everyone knows very well. Play. Boy. Cardi. Now before you get angry and spit at me for making crazy accusations again, I have undeniable evidence for these claims that will swoon everyone here in a heartbeat. Everybody, it's me, Playboy Chatty, and I love the Legends, and I will not be dropping the new album. I hate all my fans, and I'm gonna keep playing League of Legends. Slap! Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it from his mouth, not mine. This goes into my next point. As we all know, Cardi is a Satanist, and when you're a Satanist, you worship, that's right, the devil. Or some people call him Diablo. You see the connection? Now, usually, what color is this guy? And if you answered anything other than red, you're a fucking idiot. What else is red? Valorant! As you can see, I'm getting ever closer to figuring out the truth about Riot Games. Valorant is an online, precise gunplay shooter where being still and focused will make you win the game. Being tactical comes first and fun comes second. Actually, fun comes last. Now, when you think of Valorant, you usually think of e-couples or streamers, maybe like Tens or Queso. Great people. I've met them both for a cup of coffee once. The one thing you guys aren't thinking of is the third type of person who plays Valorant. The people behind it all, the master schemers, the puppet masters, that control of the masses, the silent minority, the evil cultists, the mad hatters, the men in black suits. That's right. Valorant developers, the fist bump gun buddy, is actually a secret form of communication they created to conduct their dangerous illegal business. The only way to get this charm is from being a dev or getting it from a dev. The recruiting players to work for the company is your first thought, obviously, but let's take a closer look for I have a theory that'll really knock your barnacles off. Knight, that's actually really nice of them to give people these charms. WRONG! You're so wrong, you clueless viewer! These charms aren't just for cosmetic purposes, they're markers, trackers if you will, for sacrifices. The whole theory is starting to make sense now, isn't it? League of Legends, Cardi, Diablo, Epstein. Riot Games really thought no one could solve this, but they were wrong. All of this was hidden right under our noses. Soon enough, this will be covered by BBC, Moist Critical, and hopefully not Sunny V2. The be-all, end-all question is, what do they need sacrifices for? And the answer is actually so simple that it took me a while to figure out. When I first tried to figure this out, my assumption was that they were trying to please the evil overlord overlooking their company, or using the human souls to gain more power for themselves. But in reality, the truth was much, much darker than anyone at the Knight from Hammerfell team thought. As everyone knows, Riot is developing a League of Legends fighting game called Project L. This game is going to need developers as well, of course, but since the poor souls at Riot Games are already contractually obligated and slaves to their respective game, they can't move to that department. And Riot Games hasn't gotten a single person to apply since 2014. So they're using these poor souls and giving them to Diablo. 
in return, they get developers. And since no human in their right mind would work for Riot Games, the new employees aren't humans. They're things you see in nightmares. That's right! The new Riot game is being developed by Sack Boys. My people are being enslaved, and I need your help to send your credit card information along with your social security number, and we can win the war against Riot Games.